Hey guys, this is Persephone and this is another video on the Hermit Tarot channel. Now, I will be reading today for Virgo, so this video is dedicated to all the Virgos for the month of April 2020. Today is the 31st of March, so remember, messages can be timeless, so when you are meant to hear this message, that is when you're meant to receive it. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or if you would like to send me a question, go ahead. I have provided my email address and you can also uh, send me a message on Instagram, the Hermit Tarot one, I believe the number one. And again, be very, very aware of scammers on YouTube. A lot of people tend to call themselves psychics, but remember, most psychics will shuffle on the actual camera. Most psychics will not have a general reading in the sense of everyone has the same message. It's very rare that all psychics will have the same message. So please be aware of that. Now, when you are searching for your zodiac sign, also keep in mind that you should research your sun, moon, and rising. So if a message does not resonate, it's okay. Uh, leave it behind. If you are looking to have more information about your love life, you can also check your Venus sign and your Venus signs will give you a little bit more insight on love and money matters. So again, this video is for April 2020 for all my Virgos. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with how does Virgo feel for the month of April? How does Virgo feel for the month of April? How does Virgo feel for the month of April? Virgo, for the month of April, it seems like you're no, no longer being uh, delusional about how you're going to actually fulfill your dream, fulfill your project, fulfill your desire. Now, it seems like a lot of the things that were worrying you had to do with you being delusional, having fantasy, having um, the idea of a happy ending with someone or not necessarily someone. It could be a happy ending to a situation. It could be that you were dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, an Airy Leo. Um, but I see two cups here. You have the ten of you have the nine of cups, excuse me, and you have the seven of cups reversed. So most likely you were dealing with a water sign. So it seems like you no longer are hurt about the illusion. You're more aware. You are more you're coming out of it. You have realized that finally this is not how you are going to progress going forward. And the overall energy was the tower. So it seems like a lot of you guys either went through something that caused you to have a different shift of energy or a different shift of a mindset, and that's why you're no longer feeling like you're delusional about how to get to a completion it seems like you're very close to feeling like you are rid of toxic energy toxic relationships toxic people so this is a great time to start new projects new relationships actually put your ideas down on paper so that you can finally feel not only are you being proactive but you're actually taking the steps to go forward into accomplishing something My single Virgos, what does it look like for the month of April for you? My single Virgos, how does the month of April look like for you? My single A my single Virgos, how does it look for the month of April? You're no longer holding on to wishes. You're no longer holding on to maybe a delusional or maybe to something that you for sure thought that it would be traditional, it would be safe, it would be something that was kind of expected of you. Um, you're no longer holding on to that idea. You are now going forward with something that might be out of the safe zone, out of culture, out of your um, outside the box. You're thinking now outside the box and maybe some people will, will be really surprised to see your progress. I see more that you're dealing with just more, this is more mental. This is more, this more, this has to do more with you progressing through work. Um, in a relationship, it could be that you're no longer holding to the idea of a person that you felt was your all. Um, it could have been that you were in love, like either with your boss 
your professor, it could have been that you were in love with someone who you idolized, but you no longer have that feeling anymore. You no longer are idolizing this person because you see them for who they really are. And you can actually see that this is not someone who's actually going to be fulfilling any of your wishes or dreams. They're no longer fulfilling or making you feel whole. So I see a lot of single Virgos remaining single. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. It could have been that you were dealing with someone from work. It could have been that you were dealing with an earth sign, an earth uh, sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Yeah, you're letting go of that relationship. You're letting go of idol idolizing someone, and it seems like it had to be with someone that you were in close proximity with. I don't see you dealing with this person anymore. For my Virgos that are in relationships, for my coupled Virgos, for the month of April, what is in store for you? For the month of April, what is in store for you? Now, I do want you guys to keep in mind that energies can be reversed and there's no such thing as gender in tarot. So even if I'm saying he or she, it could be, again, cross watchers that are watching for the sign of Virgo in this example, or it could be the energies are reversed. Maybe that person is, this is how this person feels towards you. Now, for people who are in a relationship, again, these cards came up. Now, the lover's cards indicate that there isn't a sort of partnership. You guys are finally at the last, at the last moment. You guys feel very wounded with each other. It seems like you guys either were not giving enough explanation on how you guys felt or it could be that maybe somebody has come in between maybe too many people are coming in between and kind of commenting on your relationship and that's what's causing you guys to not see eye to eye another thing that could be happening is that maybe one person maybe you are feeling like you're you're giving your love to this person but this person is actually pouring out your relationship they're pouring out your emotion they're really dis being dismissive again energies can be reversed so maybe your partner feels like they are feeling very wounded because they're explaining to you they're telling you what their expectations are they're telling what their what their hopes and dreams are for this relationship but it seems like you are you're not really giving a fuck at this point uh you could be dealing with a fire sign an aries leo sag or you could have been dealing with a cup uh water sign excuse me a scorpio pisces or cancer now because the lover's cards is reversed there is a possibility that you might have been dealing with a gemini again but since this is reversed and it's only i see cups again two cups here and nine of cups here it could have been again that you guys are at your final end you guys are done fighting you guys are, you guys are done hurting each other so the overall energy for this relationship yeah it seems like the Eight of Cups is reversed. So it means like you guys don't want to walk away. You guys are really interested in giving this another try. But again, in order for you guys to give it another try, both people have to be in the same on the same page, okay? You guys have both need to explain to each other what your expectations are, what you're looking, and how are you trying to move forward. Overall energy and advice for Virgo. Overall energy and advice for Virgo for the month of April. Overall energy advice for Virgo for the month of April. Virgo, be careful when you're coming into... I see Virgo being very focused on their money, focused on their bag, focused on their career, focused on projects, focused on moving forward. I don't see necessarily too much love, even though there's a three of swords here and that usually indicates betrayal, heartbreak. Um, it could be not necessarily that you're dealing with love. It could be that you are not seeing eye to eye with maybe some friends and family members. Um, the Hierophant usually is someone that you're idolizing. It's someone that's either your boss. It could be anyone who is a sort of an authority figure. So it could even be family members. Be careful of how you're expressing yourself in the month of April, Virgo. It's okay to express yourself and let people know what your expectations are. But again, remember that words are powerful. And when you're speaking it's okay to be assertive but not necessarily hurtful so be mindful of how your words and how your ideas are coming across especially people who are an authority figure towards you because you want their support right you want them to understand that you're coming from a loving place not necessarily a malicious place the page of cups so maybe you're not expressing yourself enough yeah the empress is reversed be prepared because it could be that an apology is coming towards you from someone that you might have been um dealing with someone a little younger than you and then again the empress is usually like dealing with fer fertility mother nature and so forth but because the mother nature and the hierophant is coming up it could be again i'm having a really um big sense that you're going to be dealing a lot with family members family members family members family members family members and because you're dealing with i see swords here it could be you're dealing with an air sign a gemini aquarius um yeah definitely be careful on how you express yourself the month of april 
Virgo. Um, I know that you tend to be very assertive and very clear cut of what your expectations are. But remember, um, Virgos are not malicious. Virgos tend to be servers. Um, we like to act of kindness. So just keep that in mind when you are moving forward through the month of April. I do hope that you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. Please, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And remember, you guys can always send me a comment. Let me know what you're interested in seeing, what kind of, if you would like more love readings or if you're interested in doing a financial reading or if you're interested in maybe finding out when the next time if you're getting married or having children. So let me know what kind of topics you guys would like for me to discuss on this channel. I hope you have a very safe April and I hope you guys are practicing social distancing and have a good month.